Good evening everybody and welcome to the video. In my past video essentially I talked about you know uh, Apache hoodie and essentially we did a hands-on session with um, Apache hoodie right we essentially wrote some PySpark code we made uh, the Apache hoodie table we insert it we update it we deleted items into our data lakes essentially our Apache hoodie table. This video is about Delta lakes that's correct Delta lakes. So this is a small hands-on lab uh, with Delta Lake. The end goal is again, we're gonna query the data using Athena, right? So Delta Lake, here is the actual practical lab. So let's get started. All right, I'll go quick over the theory because I'm more interested in the practical labs, right? So I'm just gonna read one definition and then straight into action. Again, the previous video we talked about, you know, uh, hoodie, and now we're gonna talk about Delta Lakes. Delta Lake is an open source format storage layer that delivers reliability, security, and performance on your data lake for both streaming and batch operation by replacing data silos with a single home for structured, semi-structured, and unstructured data. Delta Lake is the foundation of a cost-effective, highly scalable lake house. Okay, so basically in easy language, what I'm trying to say is all these three stuff, that is Apache Iceberg, Delta Lakes, and a hoodie, they all support, uh, uh, you know, insert, update, delete, and, 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 and much more, right? So here I'll show you how to quickly get started with Delta Lakes, right? These are the companies using it, such as Amazon, Apple, uh, Alibaba, uh, Disney, and much, much more. All right, so Mel, let's get, let, show me some labs. All right, so the first thing is what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna use a um, Delta Lake glue connector. It's actually very easy. So click on go to AWS marketplace and here you should be able to search for a Delta Lake connector. Uh, I'll show you quickly, uh, Snowflake here. So now click here, okay, I've already done that. Then you wanna click on continue, subscribe, scroll down, review everything and click on continue configuration. And once you're done, select uh, your version. I'm using Glue 3.0, right? I'm gonna click on continue and launch. Then I'm gonna click on the usage instruction and then I'm gonna click on this button that says activate the Glue connector. Once you click here, give it a name. Um, you can give it anything that you like. And then all you gotta do is click on the orange button and hit save. So here what we did is essentially we made a Glue connector. So if I go to the connections, uh, hopefully I'll show you very quickly. As you can see, I have a Delta connector, right? Again, this is a connector that we um, got from the marketplace, right? Now, it's easy, right? Now, we just need to move some data and convert the data into a Delta Lake format. That's so easy. All right. What I'm going to do is I, uh, first of all, I'm going to delete this uh, Delta Lake database that I had before. Uh, I'll be heading over to the job section and I'll make a very, very, very simple job. So I'm going to click on create. And here is the wizard, right? I'm gonna make a simple job. Before that, I need to store the data on S3, right? So I'm gonna uh, make a folder for you. So quickly, I have a S3 bucket called Glue Beginners, right? So I'm gonna click here. And here I'm gonna make a folder called Delta, uh, DL Delta Lake 1, because you know, I already made one, so I'm gonna use this folder. So all my data will be dumped inside this folder, okay? Okay, so now back to my glue job. Where is my job here? Yeah, so source, I'm gonna read from a catalog. I already have some dummy data in the catalog, right? So I'm gonna choose that action. I'm gonna apply some mapping and then the target, I'm gonna choose Delta. Here you can see the connector appears here. Uh, here I'll select the connector and then uh, I'm gonna click on add new option and I'm, all I have to do is add a path. Now the path essentially is gonna be uh, where I wanna dump my data. So uh, I wanna dump my data over here. So I'll, sel I'll select that, looks great, absolutely fantastic. And now I'm gonna uh, name this job sample Delta Lakes, right? Uh, select an IM rule, I'll select the lab three. Uh, I don't need 10 workers, three are probably good for me. Uh, I don't wanna try for three times as well. This is good for me. Uh, everything else looks great. I'm gonna click on save and I'm gonna run the job. Here you can see my job has started. This might take about two to three minutes uh, depending upon how much data you have. Again, all I'm showing you is a hello world app. Again, things are very easy, right? Once you understand these concepts, right? Delta, Apache, Iceberg, Kodi, they are all almost similar in the way, right? So now again, this job is running. Hopefully it's done within a second or two. 
Uh, before that, now we, all we're going to do is we're going to make a glue database. And we can call whatever you like. I'm going to call this as uh, Delta YouTube because I'm doing it for the YouTube. Right click, click there. We have a database, right? Now, waiting for my glue job to complete. Uh, might take a while again. And before you try these labs out, again, uh, the glue is not under the free tire, so you will be charged money about a dollar or two but again uh, make sure uh, it's not under the free tire that's all i'm trying to say all right so the job is still running at this point i am still waiting for the job to complete idly it takes about a minute or two uh so let's wait so hopefully the job should be complete um soon so again uh, you know connectors makes your life so easy right in glue you have connector for jdbc uh, apache hoodie connector you have a connector for delta lakes you have connector for iceberg you have connector for literally everything period so you know <laughs> uh, okay the job is complete yep yep that looks great and i can head over to my s3 i refresh and here you can see all these amazing files have been added for me uh, right so now I want to query my uh, Delta Lake using Athena. So that is pretty, pretty, pretty easy. So head over to glue, create a crawler, uh, click on refresh. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to click on create crawler. We'll name it Delta crawl. You can name it anything. Uh, then click on add source. Here we're going to select Delta Lake and here I'm going to put the S3 path. Uh, that is over here, right? So I'm going to copy the S3 URI. I'm going to paste here. I'm going to enable the right manifest. Click here next. Click next. I'm going to select an IM role. Click next. Select the database as uh, Delta YouTube, right? That's the name that we added. Click on next. Everything else looks good. And my crawler is created, right? I'm going to run my crawler. At this point, the crawler is craw going to crawl on my um, S3 and it's going to try to identify the schema and hopefully then I should be able to query my Delta Lake. So in theory, it's literally that easy, right? Now, again, you just gotta read a little bit syntax here and there for insert up, you know, for insert updates and delete. And that's pretty much Delta Lake, right? That's all you need to know, right? Uh, so of course, uh, you can get started with the things very easily, right? All you gotta know is just a getting started gu uh, guide quickly, uh, get started with the syntax. Once you know the synta syntax, do a small POC and then you're good to go, right? That's pretty much it. So at this point, my crawler is running. Uh, hopefully, should be done in a second or two. Still running, but once the crawler is complete, uh, uh, okay, I gotta log in, I guess. So let me log in again. Looks like I was timed out. All right, so uh, back to glue. Uh, back to crawlers and here you can see the crawler is complete that's great now I can head over to Athena I can click here right so now I should have a table under the database called Delta YouTube and now I am able to query my data essentially using standard SQL uh, as you can see right here right so those are my tables or those are those are my data in the Delta Lake right um, so that is pretty much it for Delta Lake it's literally easy uh, try that out uh, we're gonna do some nice projects at the end. So here, what, what I'm trying to do is in my previous videos, I made um, videos on Apache hoodie, right? I made you sure that you guys are comfortable with hoodie. Now we did a small session on uh, Apache, uh, sorry, uh, on Delta Lakes. And then next we're gonna do on Iceberg. And once we're done with all the three, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start building the actual uh, data lakes and, you know, uh, actual, in, um, you know, uh, raw cleanse, uh, raw stage and cleanse, right? All these um, uh, uh, S3 bucket, and then we're gonna move data into each uh, particular, um, you know, uh, uh, section, right? So those are all coming up in the upcoming later videos. But again, these all concepts sh should be clear. These all basics should be clear. You should be able to, you know, quickly write a glue job, pie spark, this and that. And again, if you are new, I would recommend, I do have a beginner videos for AWS Glue. Uh, I have eight videos, uh, right? So I, I really, uh, it will really, really help you, right? So getting started with AWS Glue, this one, as you can see, each video has, uh, you know, this is the title, this is the link, and each video has a folder, each video has labs for you to 
to, to try that out. So if you're new to glue, you can try these labs out as well. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed about Delta Lakes. And if you did enjoy, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep smiling, keep programming, and take care.